Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Yama, and today we're going to talk about nosebleeds and how to stop them if you get a nosebleed. But first, why do nosebleeds happen? One of the main reasons why nosebleeds happen is because of picking. Uh oh. And another reason why nosebleeds happen is if it's really dry out and your nasal mucosa, the lining of your nose, if it gets really dry, that can cause it to bleed. But it happens for a lot of reasons. The main thing is, is to know what to do if it starts to bleed. I'll give you an example of what not to do, okay? So if your nose starts bleeding, what you should do is this. Oh no, my nose is bleeding! Oh no! Pretty silly. No, you don't do that, okay? So if your nose starts to bleed, the first thing you do is you stay nice and calm, okay? okay. So you stay nice and calm. The second thing you do is you pinch your nose. You just pinch it right here, not at the top, like up here, because there's lots of cartilage up here and you can't even pinch it closed. So you want to pinch it right here at the tip of your nose with your thumb and your index finger. So you pinch it and then your nose starts to like this. Okay, then you know that you're pinching it nice and hard. And the other thing is, is you want to sit up straight and you want to lean forward. So you hold it like this and you lean forward and that will help stop the blood. So you lean forward and you hold it like that for 15 minutes. That's a long time. Because some people, what they want to do is they want to check if it's still bleeding. So they'll hold it, and they'll hold it, and they'll let go, and it's still bleeding. No, 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 you don't try to check. You have to pinch your nose and hold it, and you don't check until the 15 minutes is done. So you hold it nice and tight, you lean forward, and you hold it like that. The reason why you don't want to lean back is if you lean back like this, the blood will actually travel all the way down and it'll go down your throat. So to make sure that you protect your airway, you lean forward and you hold it nice and tight at the tip of your nose. After the 15 minutes, what you can do is stop and check if it's still bleeding. Okay. If it's still bleeding, try again. Pinch it and hold for another 15 minutes. So that's 30 minutes in total. After that, if it's still bleeding, then it might be time to go see a doctor. The other reasons to see a doctor is, let's say if you're bleeding so much that you're starting to feel really dizzy, like you're going to faint. So if, you, if it ends up stopping, that's great. So if it stops after that 15 minutes or after the 30 minutes, make sure you don't blow your nose really hard because that might, and you might end up blowing out the clot that end up stopping the bleeding. So try not to blow too hard. Don't shove anything up your nose. Some people try to take Kleenex and they twist it and they put it right up there. That's not a good way to stop the bleeding, okay? So let's review. The first thing you do is stay nice and calm. Mm. The second thing you do is you plug your nose at the tip right here and you hold it. You sit up straight and you lean forward and you wait 15 minutes. That's a long time. And you don't check. You have to hold it for an entire 15 minutes. And afterwards, you can let go see if it's still bleeding and if it is then hold it for another 15 minutes and then hopefully it will stop bleeding if you have frequent nosebleeds you can go see your doctor and they might be able to take a look to see why it's bleeding so often and you can do other things too like um, trying to keep your nose moist with a humidifier or things like that but you should go see your family doctor if you have frequent nosebleeds, right? The most important thing is to try to stop picking. 
<laughs> okay, well that's how you stop a nosebleed. Great, see you guys later. Bye!